American Conchologist, uh, it, the title of our quarterly journal, the entirety of uh, the publication from the, the newsletter through last month's uh, issue has been cataloged and uh, through the end of last year, totally um, indexed. The index is posted on the COA website uh, and uh, it runs about 183 pages. We have a, a commitment from the uh, Biodiversity Heritage Library that we will have every issue of the of the COA publication, American Conchologist and his predecessors, uh, posted at some point in the future on the internet. A listserv called Conch L that fields questions. You put in questions, you get answers, discussions, uh, links to other resources of various sorts. This has been operative since 1997 and is a great resource. This is uh, available to anyone, but most everyone is a COA member. The program uh, had its onset in 1985. We've given out 310 grants to about 280 individuals, and a total of $250,000 has been dispersed over that time. Uh, some years ago, we decided to earmark 100% of the proceeds from our oral auction. All those monies are earmarked for the academic grants program. The uh, conventions from the, for the COA, the Conchologists of America, have occurred from 1972 on. This this year, this current year, the current year 2020 was the first time where we had to cancel a convention. Anyway, this is a meeting of shell enthusiasts, professional shell dealers, students, academics. You know, we have three days worth of meetings, and these folks come from all over the world. And it's interesting because you have a lot of events where you can also buy shells. There are field trips before the convention, three days of meetings and with events during that time. And then what happens at the last two days is the Bourse, which is the sale of shells from, again, dealers from all over the world. Normally, we have dealers from China, Australia, sometimes Europe, uh, as well as uh, from all parts of the United States. The premier one is back to Kennedy Space Center, which is NASA's facility, which is diligently working toward the new era of spacecraft returning astronauts uh, to space. The uh, launch pads are still the same, but they've been totally reconfigured for, for private launches. Pretty well means that we can we can't promise, but we can pretty much consider that there will probably be a launch of some sort from the Space Coast during the time of the convention. We're also going to Harbor Branch, uh, which is also coupled with a quick visit to the McClarty Treasure Museum, because we are just north of the Treasure Coast, where some of the uh, Spanish galleons were wrecked by hurricanes. We are working with the Sea Turtle Preservation Society, which uh, takes tours out for turtle hatchings. So you can see, and of course, this will be in the evening. Uh, well, we have the silent auctions, which are, take place during the three days of the meeting. You can get a wide variety of shells there if you're the successful bidder. Our premier event is the oral auction, uh, which occurs the Wednesday night of, of the convention. I'll go to money toward supporting COA and our scholarship programs. There are very expensive shells there that you probably will not see other places. Bourse opens up. It's uh, on Saturday from 1 to 8 p.m. and then on Sunday from about 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that is completely open to the public. It is, I believe, one of the largest areas. Uh, you'll see more shells there than anywhere else in the United States for sale. One of the things I noticed is that uh, since we haven't had the opportunity to have shell shows or visit with our shelling friends for the past year, wow, I, I noticed and shellers are noticing how much they miss not getting together with other shellers. It's almost like the shellers family reunion where you see people you haven't seen for a year. And so I think the COA conventions are almost like the shellers family reunion for the extended shell family which goes beyond the United States. So uh, I think people are very interested in getting back to seeing their friends again, not being just confined to their own homes. 